thing about making clay objects is great is the fact is that you know you you use them or, or people use them, and uh, you know and it's it's great to think that you know that uh, somebody will use it every day and and you can do funny things like I mean the thing is that making a mug and people call a mug you know I used to make them where they were all dented so that you know when people drank from them they didn't watch how they drank and spill on them. So the thing is, that <laughs> what it was my, my way of telling them that they should slow down and, and look at the world around them. So I put a lot of work uh, into the finish. For me, it, it's important to get what you want. Um, because the thing is that if you're not going to get what you want, um, and I, I, I prefer to, to go all out and work months on one piece rather than you know, do it in five minutes, get it over with. You know, because uh, it looks like five minutes. Whereas if you do something that takes, like the piece here, it took me a, a whole month to make it. And it which is, you know, you look and you go, doesn't look like a month's work. Hey, it was hard doing all those little dots, you know, hours and hours. And then the, the firing process, multiple firings. Um, and I'm also using uh, um, fairly sophisticated decorating techniques. I'd use the, what they call the photo stencil technique. And it's taking photographs and then making a stencil from them. Uh, although what I do is I, I blow them up larger or smaller and cut them out and, and airbrush and then I redraw, repaint. You know, uh, it, it's a lot of work. But for me, the effects work. Is my uh, is my hobby as well as my profession. Teaching in the pottery area is, of course, my my first love because and that's my uh, area of true area of technology and skill. To become really good, you have to focus. You have to really, really narrow yourself down, um, which is in some ways really awful because it becomes really tedious. You know, if you if you you know you don't leave enough room for for expanding. You open a kiln and it comes out. It's like Christmas, you know, because even though you you can control a certain amount, there's always that slight change. It's like color change. Uh, maybe the piece twists or turns. If you don't like it, uh, what you do is you put it in a box, leave it a month, and then open the box up and look. And by then, the thing is that you've changed your your whole view of what you thought you wanted. We're in a different time. Um, you know, arts has always been fighting to gain the respect it needs.